Hey guys, I'm here with Lily, and we're about to give her a bath, and the reason for this, um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Lily, I am trading Lily for a partial silicone boy, so a cloth body silicone boy. Um, I will be very sad because I love Lily so much. I really do. I will miss her so much, but I know she's going to a great home, and I still have four other full body silicone babies, so I will be okay. I'm not going to die. Um, everything's going to be fine. Um, so, if you can hear in the background bath water running, I'm going to be giving Lily her last bath with me before she goes to her new mommy, which is Carly Patterson. Um, and this will be my first ever bath with silicone babies in my real bathtub. All my other baths with them were in a crate, but I'm actually bathing her in a real bathtub this time. And um, I did check with um, the water system, and there is chlorine in the water, but it is not, um, it's not the B chlorine, which is the stuff that hurts silicone, so it will not react with her silicone, which is good. Um, so I'm going to be bathing her, and she's in this little bathtub crate right now. I'm going to go and... We're running the bath water right now, but we're going to go and get her in. So this is her last bath with me, and it's going to be sad but also fun because I'm excited for Victor. That's the name of the silicone boy that I'm getting. He's partial. He has cloth body, silicone limbs, and head, and he's platinum silicone. He takes a full pacifier. He has hair. He's the full package, but he's not a full body, but it's it's okay. I'll, I will live without another one of my full body silicones. And I will be getting another full body silicone eventually anyways. So I'm not super worried about it. This is not going to be the last full body silicone you will ever see. Because I am working with a lot of artists to try to get one for cheap. So I will get another one eventually one day. So don't worry. Um, you will see more of Lily. Um, hopefully on Carly's channel. Hopefully she'll be uploading some videos on there. Or maybe you can see them like... If she has an Instagram or something, you can see Lily. Um, but um, don't worry, guys, because Lily is going to a really good home. And I'm going to get a baby for her that I really like. And I've wanted... It kind of looks like Naya from Hello, Melissa Sue, but with, and but he's a white baby. And uh, he has a cloth body. So anyways, let's go into the bathroom, and we're going to start Lily's bath. All right, guys, so here we are in the bathroom. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but you probably can't hear me very well, so have Lily there, and here's the bath water. So we're gonna go ahead and set this in there. Um, I can do this one-handed. So um, I have the soap, baby powder, lotion, um, a little toy we're gonna put in the bath. Oops. That's the little toy we're gonna have in the bath. I have her towel right here and some stuff for after her bath there. Here's the washcloth, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in the water. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, we'll get back to you guys when the water is full. Alright guys, so here's Lily and she's in the water. Uh, I'm going to get the soap, which is this, and I'm going to squirt it in the water like that. And Carly, if you're watching this, this is how much fun you're going to get to have with Lily. She is super fun to bathe because she's tinier, so you can uh, do lots with her. So, um, and what I like about these dolls, these silicones, is that they really are not children's toys. And, uh, like, for me and stuff, because, like, I'm a teenager, uh, and so I'm not, like, a kid, I guess. So... I don't like having experiences where I feel like I'm a little kid. That's one thing I don't like about Reborns, but with silicones you still feel older because they are more advanced than Reborns usually, and they require a lot more care. Um, so that's definitely true, and I like about silicones that you can do everything you do with a real baby with a silicone, except for, of course, you know change a real wet diaper, but you can put stuff in their diaper to make their diaper look wet. So, uh, 
Yeah. So we're gonna get really all clean here. I love bathing them, I really do. She's so excited to go home, guys, to her new mommy. She's so excited. Look at the boat, Lily. Look at the boat. Look at the boat. It's a boat. Look at the boat. The boat. You like the boat? I don't think she likes the boat, guys. Okay, anyways. So, um, I'm just going to kind of continue bathing her, and I will get back to you guys when she's almost done. Okay, guys, so I just had to film this because I'm rinsing off her back. Um, so I had to film. Uh, so Lily is a lot of fun, and I think Carly is going to have a lot of fun with her because, um, as all silicones, when they're, like, taken care of, um, they're just a lot of fun. These dolls are just really fun to take care of. So, um, that's what I really love about them. So there's Miss Lily, and yeah. Alright guys, so I took Lily out of the water, and we're going to dry her off now. She's all bathed, and I rinsed the soap off her, and she's like all sticky, because um, if, Carly, if you're watching this, um, you'll know that, you'll need to know that um, silicone babies, like whenever, after you bathe them, you, um, they're going to be very sticky, that's normal, because when the silicone gets wet, it's gonna be, it's gonna be sticky. It's gonna be like really sticky. Like, you can hear that. Um, that's just because uh, it's clean, so it's gonna, it's like all the dirt is off it, so it's like, sticky. That's why you have to powder them um, after every bath. But make sure you powder her with cornstarch powder. You obviously you know that because you have a partial silicone, so you know that. But um, I'm sure you've never bathed Victor since he's only partial, but. Um, there is actually ways to bathe partial silicone babies. You just can't get them wet. Like, you can still bathe them. You just can't get them wet up to a certain point on their limbs. Like, I used to have a partial silicone baby, but then I sold it a couple of years ago when I had Erica. I had one. And she was a lot of fun, but she got tor torn. So I sold her for, like, a really cheap price. I really regret that I shouldn't have sold her for, like, $150 on eBay. I should have kept her because I could have fixed her now that I have Reborn and Silicone Art experience. I did do a little bit of um, fixing on Lily. Like, I had to, like, take some of the... Like, I had to kind of... Um, she had problems whenever I got her, so I had to fix her up a little bit. But now she's fine. Um, but I'm just drying her off, and... I hope you enjoyed this video, Carly, because you'll see kind of how to bathe a silicone, a full-body silicone. Um, and I will totally miss Lily since, you know, she was a full body, she's a full body silicone in my collection and I'll miss her. I'm obsessed with full body silicones. But, I mean, Victor's still a silicone, just not full body. Like, I can still do everything else with that, with him that I do with full bodies except for bathe him. So, I mean, it's okay, like, it'll still be fine. I still have Ryan, Sugar, and Casey to bathe. Of course, Embry can't be bathed, but that's okay. I don't know, I love Embry anyway. Embry's amazing, she's really good good quality, good detail. Um, but anyway, I think this little one is almost dry, but I'm just going to finish up her drying and then we're going to powder her. Alright guys, so I forgot about the lotion. And I will explain this. If you put lotion on your full body silicone, or a silicone in general, um, you can, you can put lotion on your silicone. Um, however, you cannot use a lot. You have to use like like, tiny little smidge, like, you should pour it out of the little thingy on a towel even, maybe. I pour it on a towel, because who really cares. Just use, like, this much on her whole body. Rub it around your hands, and pat her. She'll smell really nice. Um, but if you do put too much, she'll get too sticky. So you don't want to put too much on them. It's just like, whoop, that's too much. Like this, no, like this much on her whole body, like her whole, the whole side of her. So I just pat her, and then she smells like baby magic. And um, that's really cool. So if you want to put lotion on her, Carly, you can. 
Um, she uses Ecoflex silicone, so Ecoflex can take the chemicals that is in baby lotion. Platinum silicone can't usually, but um, this can. So if you smell her, she smells like baby magic, which is pretty awesome. So, and then I just use the rest of that on me. So I'll just use that on my arms and use that on my body. So then after this, we're gonna powder her. All right, so now we're gonna powder her. I have this Johnson's Baby Powder, uh, Refreshing Magnolia Petals Pure Cornstarch. It has to be pure cornstarch powder. So I just pour it on there and I take a large um, blush brush and I just lay the powder all over her body and kind of just do this. You probably know how to powder silicones already because you have uh, partial silicone, so I'm sure you probably powdered him a few times. Um, but just in case, I'll just show you this anyway. Uh, and it's important that you don't go crazy because if you put too much, powder will build up too easily. And that can cause dry silicone and it can make it peel. So you gotta like do it the right way. You don't want to put too much, but you don't want to put too little either, because if you put too little, she'll just be really sticky and gross feeling, and she'll feel all slimy, and that's just not how a baby should feel. And I also have this one for her face. It's a little bit smaller, but it still gets the powder across her face, so I use this like on her crevices in her face, like on her seam line by her head, and then I have this one for her little crevices, so I just put a little bit of powder on it, and like I stick it in her mouth. And I just kind of powder in her mouth, or I like put on her eyes or in her ears, stuff like that. And then for her back side, um, I powder all over her. Um, I put more powder on the back because she sits on her back, so powder needs to go on her back. So, yeah. Alright, so we're back in the nursery, and I'm just going to feed her this um, bottle. So she's just drinking this bottle. You can see how she takes it. I will send her home with this bottle, actually. Um, so I always feed her some warm milk after her baths because she gets pretty cranky. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and this is the last video you will see with Lily. I'm going to be making a box packing video. I already packed the box, but I haven't sealed the box yet, so I'm just going to repack it for a video. And I'm sending Oliver and Lily home together. Um, and in return, I'm getting a vampire baby and a partial silicone boy, and their names are Barnabas and Victor, so. And I'm also getting another reborn baby girl named Marmalade in return for Sadie Mae, my reborn baby Sadie Mae, but we're not doing that for, I think, two weeks or so. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Wish Miss Lily a safe trip home. Bye, guys.